Hello, boys and girls. It is time for Story Time with Howie. Come join us as Howie's going to tell us a Bible story today. Hey, everyone. I'm Howie. I have a special story that I wanted to share with you today. Now, all of you know that right now we can't get out we can't see our friends at school or even go to church. It feels like sometimes we're the only ones around. But I wanted to share something that would make our hearts happy. Did you know there's someone in the Bible that felt like he was the only one that was following God? Yes, sirree. His name was Elijah. He thought that nobody was looking for God anymore and he hid himself in a cave. But God encouraged him and had other plans. I want to share this story with you that comes from 1 Kings 19. This is how it starts. Elijah was running away because he was the only one that stood up for God. Some people were after him, and he felt alone, and he felt scared. However, as he was running, God supplied his needs with food and water. Isn't God great? But even in that, Elijah was still discouraged. He didn't think he could make it by himself, so he decided to take a long nap in a cave. God spoke to Elijah and said, What are you doing? And Elijah said he was running for his life and no one loved God anymore. So God told Elijah to stand near the mountain as God passed by. Then something awesome happens. As God passed by, there began to be a really strong wind. But God was not in the wind. Then there was a great earthquake. But God was not in the great earthquake. Then, there was a great fire. But God wasn't in that fire. And then after all of those things, there was a still, small voice. Elijah. Elijah. So, God was telling Elijah in the middle of all of that loud, dangerous stuff that God was still quietly there. He also told Elijah that there were still people that loved God and were his friends. In fact, God told Elijah to go find a person that would be by his side, named Elisha. So children, this is what I wanted you to get from this. During this time, we may feel like we're all by ourselves and we want to quit, but God is still supplying our needs, and in all the loud things that we're hearing today, we need to listen for that quiet voice of God that says, I'm still here. I know you love me, and there are still people that love me too. Stay strong, listen for God, and remember, there are people out there that love God just like you do. I hope you enjoyed our story today. Now I think Brother Chris is going to say a few things. Thank you, Howie, for that story. I do appreciate it. I do want to read just a, a little bit from that passage in 1 Kings 19 and just read a little bit about what was going on here. But one of the great things that we see in this passage of Scripture is that two things, really is that God is with us in the midst of all the loud things that are going on and that there are other people that love God too. So I want us to see that just for a second. I want to read just for a couple of moments. It says, uh, And the word of the Lord came to him, What are you doing here, Elijah? He replied, I have been very zealous for the Lord God Almighty. The Israelites have rejected your covenant and torn down your altars 
and put your prophets to death with a sword. I'm the only one left, and they're trying to kill me too. The Lord said, Go out and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Then a great and powerful wind tore the mountains apart and shattered the rocks before the Lord, but the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake came a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. When Elijah heard it, he pulled his cloak over his face, went out and stood at the mouth of the cave. Then a voice said to him, What are you doing, Elijah? He replied, I have been very zealous for the Lord God Almighty. The Israelites have rejected your covenant, torn down your altars, and put prophets to death with a sword. I'm the only one left. And now they're trying to kill me too. The Lord said to him, Go back the way you came. Go to the desert of Damascus. When you get there, anoint Hazel king over Aram. Also anoint Jehu king over Israel and anoint Elisha the son of Saphat to succeed you as a prophet. Jehu will put to death any who escaped the sword of Hazel and Elisha will put to death any who escaped the sword of Jehu. Yet I reserve 7,000 in Israel, all whose knees have not bowed down to Baal and whose mouths have not kissed him. So I want us to see just a couple things, children, in this passage of Scripture is that there's going to be a lot of loud voices that's going on right now. You're going to hear a lot of things. But there is a quiet voice that we go to God in prayer. We can hear that quiet voice of God. He can speak to us through his word as we pray to him and we look to him. And also, I want us to understand you may feel like you're alone. God's still with us. But there are people that love God just like you that are out there today. I know we're not able to go to church right now. I know we're not able to go to school and see our friends. But one of the great things is we're not alone. God is with us in that still, small voice. And we need to understand there's other people that love God too. So I wanted to just pray for you today. I thank each one of you for tuning in. I pray that y'all have a great week. Let's pray. Father, I want to come to you in prayer, Lord. And I thank you for this time that we could have story time. And Lord, I pray that you bless each child that's seen this. Uh, Lord, I pray that you encourage them. I know that they may feel a little lonely right now and things may be a little difficult for them, Lord, but I want you to let them know that you're in the midst of all the loud things that's going on. You're that still, small voice that's out there. And Lord, let them know that there are people that love God just like they do out in the world, Lord, and I pray that you encourage them with that. Just give them a great day and may God bless them. We pray it in Jesus' name, amen. Y'all have a great week.